PFAS chemicals have been a source of controversy and concern in the past and once again the subject of complaints by a local environmental group. The group says it has discovered alarming levels at another Decatur area landfill. WHNT News 19 investigative reporter Dallas Parker shows us the latest location where the chemicals are showing up. PFAS, a synthetic chemical once manufactured by 3M, has already been identified in several areas of Decatur, Morgan County, and Lawrence County. Environmental watchdog Tennessee Riverkeeper is hunting down more locations. The founder, David Whiteside, says his organization recently tested water around the closed Morgan County landfill near Old Molten Road in Decatur. The numbers that we've seen coming out of the Old Morgan County landfill are thousands of times higher than that 70 parts per trillion. Whiteside is referring to the EPA parts per trillion standard for drinking water. There is no standard for groundwater. Whiteside says an EPA certified lab confirmed the high levels of PFAS in the water that runs under the old landfill into Mud Tavern Creek. Some nearby property owners say they're concerned for their families who have grown up fishing and playing in Mud Tavern Creek. PFAS builds up in the bloodstream over time and never leaves. In video supplied by one nearby resident, the creek appears to be an orange color, with water running from piping laid under the now covered landfill. They are being discharged into a part of the county that we thought was not as contaminated, and they're also flowing into the Point Mallard area and possibly flowing uh, into the drinking water intake because the creek that they're flowing into empties upstream from our drinking water intake. Decatur Utility says the stormwater runoff from the landfill is highly diluted by other water within the watershed, as well as the Wheeler Basin Reservoir before entering the plant's intake. DU also says its water supply has consistently been less than five parts per trillion, well below the EPA's advisory limit. In a statement to WHNT News 19, 3M says it tested the site for PFOS in 2019. Since then, it has constructed access roads for equipment needed for further investigation, which is currently underway. Decatur Utilities says it is aware of and monitoring the activities. The company confirmed the property is part of ongoing litigation. Whiteside says his organization just wants to see the issue corrected for future generations. The sole purpose of our environmental lawsuit is to force the polluters to clean up Morgan County, Lawrence County, and the Tennessee River. In Morgan County, Dallas Parker, WHNT News 19. So the PFAS story in the area has been going on for years. It is complicated and we've got breaking news on it and pushing for answers. We've been breaking news on it and pushing for answers. We're working to hold people accountable. We have extensive coverage available on WHNT.com. You can also get there by using the WHNT News 19 app.